for today's video. I'm doing another RPM test. I'm going to be shooting their 150 grain 30 caliber bulldozer twos from Badlands Precision. I have in my 300 wind mag has a 1 in 10 twist. I have it loaded with Trail Boss for a low velocity load. I'm going to try to match that as close as possible with 300 blackout that has a 1 in 7 twist seeing just the different effects that RPMs actually have or don't have. First shot will be out of that 300 wind mag. Hit a little bit low in the block, not terrible. It did, there's its tip. And then that bullet veered up. Bag here. That was the one in ten twist. Impacting at approximately 1,786 feet per second. Using Trail Boss, it's really hard to get consistent. They were shooting a fair bit slower than that for me when I did load development. It's actually colder out now, but I got higher velocity, so go figure. Now I'll try to get close to that 1,800 mark with the 300 blackout. After I flip my blocks. And <laughs> near identical. That one did hit a little bit faster. I don't think we really need to do any more. I was hoping our velocities would be a little closer together because if they were both the same velocity, uh, it would have been 52,000, just shy of 52,500 feet per uh RPM difference but as you can see here I'm gonna go grab my tape measure quick and we'll go these. I think I showed you guys that 1852 after I'm done measuring these um, I do have some loaded a little not not quite so hot for 300 blackout. Then I'll go ahead and shoot those two just for hopefully a little bit better comparison.
But on that slightly lower velocity and a lot lower RPMs, you have where it really looks like it starts to open up the five and a half inch mark carrying the really good part of the permanent uh, larger portion of that permanent wound cavity from the six and a half inch mark to just past the 14 inch mark then it tapers down with less permanent wound cavity and angles up exiting the top of the block at approximately 24 inches then you have significantly higher rpms and that actually penetrated further into the gel um, before opening, showing about seven and an eighth, starts opening from the eight inch mark to just a little past the 14 inch mark. And then still carries some decent permanent cavity, exits the side of the block at 24 and a half inches. So a little higher velocity, Took just slightly longer to open, not much. Permanent wound cavities near identical. Exiting the blocks at a near identical uh, distance in the blocks. I'll see if I can find that bullet so we can compare it to, never mind, it caught the edge of my jail or my bag over here. And it is definitely not there. So we are going to shoot some more into gelatin to uh, see if we can capture some more bullets. All the rest of these will be stepping down from that last shot all out of the 300 blackout with a one and seven twist. Cold weather today is helping me in. <laughs> that one tumbled down and hit the table and stopped. So we had less penetration solely because it hit that rubber mat you can see just a little bit of the black rubber there and that rubber mat just stopped it or it probably would have if they would straight line they'd probably penetrate through both blocks no problem and that was 1779 feet per second so i got bullets captured from both the higher twist and that running really similar uh, velocities and they look really similar just going to show again granted this is going to be only that 50 to 52 each thousand rpm difference but still not enough to make any difference in the performance Hope you guys enjoy the video.